It is another Money Monday right here on Everyday Iowa, brought to you by our friends at Farmer State Bank. And back with us, mustering up the courage once again to join me live on television, Cassandra Kotek. How are you this morning? Good, how are you? I am great. You brought a friend with you. Let's talk a little bit about this person standing to your left. I did. This is my dear friend, Lindsay Gruber, with Junior Achievement. Lindsay, welcome to Everyday Iowa. Thank you. We're going to talk about you. We're even going to let you talk a little bit too. Excellent. So let's start out with, we know Farmer State Bank has a great community relationship with a great lot of partners. Let's talk specifically about Junior Achievement. Sure. So we have been partnering with Junior Achievement to provide financial literacy to school age children for over a decade. We have an amazing partnership and we share the same values that we want to educate young students mm -hmm. about saving money and how to do it the right way. And Lindsay, to have the backing of such a great financial institution who does this every day, what's that mean to you guys? You know, we're so grateful for our partnership with Farmer State Bank because they have chosen to invest in junior achievement so that we can deploy our financial literacy curriculum to elementary age students all throughout Eastern Iowa. We truly want to prepare our students to become fiscally responsible and make smart decisions when it comes to their money. Let's talk a little bit about, and we're going to see some pictures here from stuff you guys are doing in classrooms. When you mention financial literacy, what are you talking about? Yes, yeah, so we're talking about the basics. In kindergarten and in first grade, our students are learning about the differences between needs versus wants. And that sounds very simple, but it's so important to talk about. We talk about saving versus spending. And as the students get older, our curriculum gets a little bit more complex. And we begin to talk about things like um, building a credit score, uh, the importance of savings, understanding taxes. And so we're so grateful that we can provide all of this incredible financial literacy education to our students, well, thanks to partners like Act, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you yeah. off here, but I was just going to say, Cassandra, this has to be conversations that you're having with adults, though, too, right? The needs versus the wants. So it's kind of lifelong learning. Yes, those basics of saving and saving effectively, they're timeless. So these students, it's our hope that they learn and build off that foundation that Junior Achievement is giving them, and we're just honored to be a part of it. So obviously you throw the support of S FSB behind Junior Achievement, but what else do you guys do? I mean, there's probably got to be some boots on the ground sort of stuff too. Sure, so our employees actually volunteer countless hours to mm -hmm. being the facilitators of uh, junior achievement classes. They're weeks at a time, 45 minutes to an hour a week, and they're really in the, in the trenches with these kids. Mm -hmm helping them, guiding them, and trying to get them to learn how to think about money in a different way. Now, obviously, you talk about people in the classrooms. What kind of things are they teaching the kids? Obviously, Lindsay touched on a few of the things, but how do you get somebody to understand a want versus a need and stuff like that? So with our curriculum, we actually provide the lesson booklets to our volunteers. They're not coming up with this content okay. <laughs> on their own. We are giving them a lesson booklet that walks them through the different vocabulary words, concepts. They're literally doing activities with the students in the classroom. We provide our volunteers with kits, so they have the activity booklets, the stickers, the game pieces, everything they need to implement those lessons, we provide to the volunteers. How hard would it be to do what you're doing without the help of you know, Cassandra and everybody at Farmer State Bank? We couldn't do it. We, I mean, we are going to be reaching 43,000 students in Eastern Iowa in this school year. We could not do what we do without the partnerships and the investments of leaders like Farmer State Bank. Well, people want more information about Junior Achievement. How do they find you guys? They can go right to our website, jaeasterniowa.org, or they can find us on any of the social media platforms. And Cassandra, same question for you. How do we find you? By visiting myfsbonline.com. We have seven branches across the Eastern Iowa area, or you can give us a call at 319-377-4891. Thank you guys for coming in this morning. Appreciate it. We'll see you back here in a few weeks, right? Sounds great. All right, stick around.